Hi, I'm Talia Giordano, Gift of Life Family House and Caregiver Lifeline Program Social Worker. I'm with Jackie Cates from Family Support Services over at Gift of Life Donor Program. Could you please explain um, the role that Family Support Services has in the letter writing process between the donor family and transplant recipient? Family Support Services reviews each letter that comes in to ensure confidentiality is maintained. Any identifying information that is in the letter will be removed. Once we read that letter, we do forward the recipient a cover letter, letting them know that their correspondence has been forwarded. What guidelines um, would you give to a recipient or their family who wants to write a letter? There's no timeline to write. Uh, a recipient may choose to write right away or wait until they're more physically and emotionally recovered. All identifying information will be removed, including last names, addresses, cities, emails, phone numbers, social media accounts, and transplant center uh, is not permitted. We do ask that full name, address, transplant date, and transplant center are included on a separate piece of paper. Okay. That way we know where to send their letter. A family member of a recipient or a recipient can write, correct? Absolutely, they're both encouraged to write. And what happens if they don't hear from their donor family? We can't guarantee that a recipient will hear from their donor family, just like we can't guarantee a donor family will hear from their recipient. They are able to write again and can write as often as they wish. What advice would you give a transplant recipient or family who's writing? Writing can be very overwhelming and emotional, uh, but there is no perfect letter. Grabbing a thank you card and writing one or two lines about how their transplant has changed their life uh, would be a beautiful letter. What happens um, if the recipient's recovery process isn't smooth? Yeah, recipients are welcome to write and if they feel comfortable they can share some of the challenges that they faced in their recovery. Uh, donor families are aware that recipients had to be really sick to be eligible for a transplant. And where would they find more information on how to um, submit the letter? Mm -hmm. So we have all of our information on our website, which is www.donors1.org. Recipients can actually write a letter directly onto our website. But if there are more questions, they can always give Family Support Services a call at 215-557-8090. Okay, great. Thank you. Also visit our website at giftoflifefamilyhouse.org. Thank you.